everybody. Um, doesn't seem like a couple of weeks ago since we uh, did a video pretty much from this spot talking about um, Tropical Storm Gamma. Um, of course then we had uh, Hurricane Delta um, in Quintana Roo and now we are waiting the arrival of Hurricane Zeta. So it's been quite a year. Um, but I just wanted to follow up on that for those who uh, may or may not have seen that video talking about the importance of having your solar installation properly anchored um, so that you can rest and not worry yourself sick uh, during one of these events. Um, right behind us here we have uh, some of my panels. Over here um, we have more in different parts because I have a fairly complicated roof and actually in the background uh, you can also see my uh, neighbors panels which we also installed right on this street um, I think we have a total of about 10 installations and uh, in Puerto Venturas over 50 um, and up and down um, the Tulum to Cancun corridor and we literally have hundreds of, uh, of installations and thousands of panels and after those last two storms we had no damage and we're certainly hoping that's going to be the case um, now as well um, before it starts pouring with rain I'm probably going to take shelter and, um, and then we'll give you an update um, on this once the storm has passed but good luck to everybody hope everyone is safe hope your family members are safe and um, yeah knuckle down batten down the hatches and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Well it's the next morning, um, that was a very strong category one hurricane, hurricane center, uh, possibly more, we haven't really seen the updates. Um, just came up to check our solar array, everything is in excellent, excellent shape, I'm pleased to report. Here's from the other side. Again, this is my original ray. Uh, these are my expanded uh, sections here and here. And my neighbors over there in the background. Everything is absolutely fine. Um, but boy, that was a strong storm. So a definite sense of deja vu. Um, here we are. Um, Hurricane Sita made landfall uh, last night. It was a very powerful uh, storm, felt a lot more powerful than uh, the, the category one that it was uh, it was reported um, and we have you know a lot of damage in what I've been told us lots of trees down um, the, the power obviously went off the internet's been down etc as you can see um, my installation and the installation I'm glad to say of almost all my clients um, that I've heard from this morning um, are fine. We have already talked quite a lot about the quality of anchoring um, and anchoring strictly speaking um, refers to uh, these bases etc um, but actually it's more than that right so if we if we look um, just here for example at this custom made frame um, I'm sure that a lot of installers would have used one uh, nut and bolt here we use four on each side um, stainless steel with locking washers etc um, all those types of hardware are not cheap but then cheap can very often mean unbelievably expensive if your panels blow down in a storm um, so what we at Echo Centro do is we focus on quality and um, yeah I've, I've spoken with clients who have questioned sometimes our, our pricing um, but to do a quality installation that is not going to move around in a storm does cost more money because it takes more labor and it takes more high quality parts and that's what we 